Uh, this is the driveway coming off the road and with all these uh, low, low overhanging limbs and you can see I've cleared a path uh, right through there, but they were all hanging down. You couldn't drop through there without scratching up the top of your truck. So trying to clear an enter entry path through here. The old driveways uh, all uh, grown over and stuff. It's, you can still kind of see it. There used to be an old house, homestead there, and you can see the barn back in the background. But just giving you a little update on the channel here. And I'm uh, going to take down this limb right here now. And uh, we'll show you a little bit of that on the camera. generator and electric two electric chainsaws that I bought specifically for this so I don't know you can kind of tell there's an opening you can drive through there now anyway we'll go take a look some big limbs I cut down there and cut up there's a big burn pile back here sorry for the shaky cam here and uh, you can see it's you know quite a bit of clearing out uh, been working on it off and on here not much just a little bit here and there uh, but we got this big burn pile it's already been burned a couple of times and you can see I put more fresh branches on it today um, but I'll show you the the shop layout you can see the red stake it's 40 feet from there to the furthest red stake I don't know if you can see that it's in the shadow there okay so it's 40 feet wide to that stake and then it's 80 feet long from back from here back there to the to my property line we got a neighbor back there who's got cows and a farm that's like a, a farmhouse he's got tractors and stuff so so 40 by 80 kind of got it uh, mapped out and uh, should be out here in the next couple of weeks to uh, start forming the slab and then I got I'm kind of serving as the GC I uh, got plumbers, electricians, stuff like that lined up. The old house uh, was out there, so water and septic tank, well, and all that's out there. And my water meter is at the road. It's about 300 feet back to the back of the property, which is where uh, the water will be coming in at. So I've got to rent a trencher and do a little trenching all the way back to get a pipe back there. Uh, could have it done, but any little thing like that I can do, I'm trying to do myself. To, uh, to save money because this whole initiative is uh, is about cash flow and you know I'm, I'm uh, doing all this with uh, with cash not borrowing any money and the goal is to you know lower all expenses down to nothing basically except for the basics um, and and that way you know I'm, I'm not leveraged I'm not in a hurry I'm not feeling pressure to do certain things with the business and make certain decisions, you know, based on money. Uh, I can do a quality job and grow the business by, you know, slowly by word of mouth and, uh, and, and through quality work. So anyway, uh, just another shot of the barn. I love this thing. I've been doing a little cleaning up on the inside of it. Um, and, um, I brought some materials down from my house uh, that I just had stored in the back and started storing those here. Uh, you can see I got a box in there from the generator that I bought. So I don't have power out here yet, so just using the generator on the back of the truck to get power to my different tools and whatever I need. So anyway, uh, there you go. I'm pretty, uh, pretty uh, nasty. Uh, dirty today it's a uh, it's hot it's uh, over 100 degrees and uh, this is this is uh, a <laughs> 
maybe I'll lose some weight doing this kind of work instead of doing the comfy work in the in the garage there. But anyway, just a quick little update. Wanted to show you guys what we're doing here. Uh, so I uh, appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.